Okay, let's dive into the PDF, all right? How, here's how this is gonna work. I've got my cheat sheet here. It's a big printout. I'm gonna be referring uh, to it from time to time just as a reference point. Let me actually move this a little bit. Perfect, okay. Uh, because the words are really small on my screen, they won't be on yours, hopefully, um, and uh, I don't wanna mix, mess anything up. So there's that. Uh, basically, here's how this is going to work. We're going to walk through this PDF. There's lots of Easter eggs. There's lots of information uh, to get out of it. And we're just going to dive in and we're going to talk about it. And, uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get started. We're going we're gonna to start off with page one. Um, so basically, here, let me zoom in for you. Basically, what I want you to do is I want you to just take a look, see if there's anything that really pops out to you, sticks out, um, and then I'm going to share my thoughts with it too. So just take a second to take a look at that. One of the first things that really sticks out to me is this center line right up and down here, okay? Because there's a lot of information within this line right here. Truthfully, it's one of my favorite um, features about the Stack Tech system, and that's these powder-coated steel uh, corner armor panels. Um, basically what this does is protects you against drops and impact for the boxes, um, but they also, you'll see they have all these little slots cut in here. And what that does is that is, serves as the mounting point for these pieces here, which is really exciting because these are all tool-free accessories. And what that means is you don't have to have tools to take them on and off. They're all quick release. Um, and you got a various different types of tools right here. You got a rod holder with some spools of wire put on there. You got a clip tech hub. Lots of people were asking, hey, are we still going to be able to use our clip tech system? Absolutely. They've got a few ways for you to do that. You can either hang it here on the corner or you can get a bar that goes across and you can put a couple hubs on it to mount there. Uh, up here we got a tumbler and a cup holder, which is really awesome. And then we've got a work light um, right here. Um, but yeah, so that's page one. Uh, right, right here you got two XL, or uh, I'm sorry, two large uh, toolboxes. You got two regular toolboxes, an organizer, two compact toolboxes, and that's probably an XL if I had to guess. Oh, and we've got a cord wrap technology right here, um, which is pretty cool. Moving on to page number two. And I'm just gonna let you, once again, just take a look there. There's a lot of meat there for you to, um, to look at and just uh, dissect for a little bit. Out of the gate, some of the things I notice is you've got, uh, this is where it shows a lot of the products that aren't included in the initial launch pack. Um, in the first launch, you've got eight units. Um, you got a crate, you've got a compact toolbox organizer, large toolbox, and the roller, as well as one of the regular toolboxes, you know, um, and a tool tote. Um, so that's your first initial eight, but this is showing that we're going to get a whole lot more stuff, and we're going to get some really cool stuff. You've got three drawer here. Lots of people asking, what is this? Um, and I'm about to explain it to you in just a few minutes, and it's really cool. Um, but you got drawer units there. You've got a drawer unit here, a single drawer. This is probably my favorite product that they're releasing, um, is this single drawer. I've always wanted that. And down here, you've got another drawer. It's pretty awesome. It's an XL drawer. Um, so take the XL toolbox and give it side access, and that's what this is. You can tell it's a drawer because of the, the way that it is. Um, and then you've got the hand truck here. This is a folding hand truck that it can either be a two-wheel dolly or you got a four-wheel cart here. You've got an extended a long tool holder to hold your level. You've got a compact cooler over here and a low-profile organizer. That's also one of the initial launch pieces. I forgot. Um, and then accessories over here. You got the roll holders, um, paper towels over there, and you got a, another bar with clip tech hubs on it and cable wraps. Um, this is called the advanced transporter, and we're going to dive into what that means in just a little bit. 
Um, we're going to move on to page number three, and basically what three is going to do is it's going to describe a lot of the innovation pieces that are here with this system. So let's move on to it. We got a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to read it off the PDF because I can't see those little words. I'm going to read it off my cheat sheet, so just so you know. Uh, but we're going to take a look at it and just um, and just go through all of them. Uh, number one, intuitive stacking. Uh, the self-aligning nesting architecture makes stacking boxes fast and hassle-free. I can attest to this because I've had the stack tech for a couple weeks now. It, it's really cool because the stacking motion is completely vertical, okay? You're not having to slide it horizontally whatsoever to get it to, to latch. Strictly vertical. You pick it up straight up, you set it straight down, and it latches. And it latches with the number two description here, the auto-locking interface, okay? Self-locking mechanism automatically engages when each box is dropped into place and unlocks simply with one hand. And number three, they all have a clear lock indicator. You can you know one way or another if it's safe to transport. So right here, this is the uh, this is the lock indicator. All right. So it's slid to the left right now and it's in a lock position. If I slide it to the right, that unlocks it, and then it can be picked up. I can't lock it back once I've unlocked it. The only way I can reset it is by lifting it slightly and resetting. And see, it automatically locked into place um, with the, the auto-locking feature. It's really cool. I love this part of it. It's You don't have to worry about a tab breaking. You don't have to worry if you're pressing up far enough on the tab. It is very clear if it's unlocked and ready to go or not. And I think that's just fantastic. All right, number four, the armored steel corners. That's what we talked about earlier. Um, you can see how they're constructed right here on the PDF. Uh, Powder-coated steel corners provide drop protection and added structural integrity. They also serve as the, um, the attachment points for the quick attach accessories. Numerous tool-free quick release accessories attached to Stack Tech to build a fully customizable solution tailored to every trade. Um, and all of these boxes open and close, as far as the main boxes, well, most of them I guess actually, they all open and close with uh, a center latch. It's a robust latch that provides rapid access to tools and shuts the lid tight. That's what we're going to look at right here. And then we've got steel reinforced lids. This is where they just go the extra mile. I'm serious. Like uh, they have reinforced all the lids with a bar of steel and it's engineered for fortified strength and increased durability. Um, one cool thing about the boxes is they're all claimed and advertised to be dust and waterproof. IP65, in fact, um, a durable silicone gasket seals out all dust and water to keep tools dry in harsh environments. I was told that during field testing, they actually took boxes and they filled it full of weights and they threw it out of a moving truck to see if it held up. Um, I've also been told that they took it and they submerged it within 10 meters of water um, and they passed the test. I didn't get to see that, but I really would have liked to. Um, but that's what they say, and I believe them. Um, included inside, that's number nine here. We've got modular bins, trays, or dividers that are included in most stack tech boxes to help pros partition their space. This one is really important to me, okay? Um, in the sign industry, we use a lot of different mounting hardware, lots of different um, installation hardware, lots of little parts and pieces. So it's really important for me to have bin access and to uh, be able to customize my bins. Um, these are actually the deepest bins available on the market. Okay, the organizer has eight of them. Um, and yeah, and also one thing that's really cool about it with the organizers, the lids are not recessed down into it. So you can actually fill up a bin to 100% capacity and still close the lid, which is a huge advantage. Um, each one of the toolboxes have sturdy, oversized handles. Okay, you got this big old boy right here on the front. All of them do. Um, and they also have the side uh, recessed handles. 
Um, but let's see what it says. Robust front and side carry handle swing out for simple transportation and stacking. This has been one of the most pleasant surprises, okay? I'm, I'm a big pack out guy. I've always have been. And I was always used to, and still I am, used to picking up the lids. Uh, you're picking up the boxes by the lid because that's just what you did and you pick up with your fingertips. And I'm always pleasantly surprised when I remember the uh, the side handles. So that's that's just a really that's a luxury that a lot of other systems don't have. It's got a quick detach handle on the rolling toolbox. I'd spin that around and, and do that, but that would be really loud and take a lot of work. And we we got a lot to cover. Uh, but here's a picture of it down here, number eleven. Uh, these quick release latches allow for you to. Uh, remove that Stectec uh, telescoping handle really easily. And you can also remove it whether you're fully extended or not. And it will fit down under a bed cover on the truck, which is pretty awesome. That is confirmed. Uh, <laughs> high impact tested. Our advanced structural engineering and high performance polymers protect against drops and shocks. Um, obviously, they got to do that if you're going to drop them out of a moving vehicle and expect them to hold up, and that's what happened. Um, and uh, let's see, number 13, dual locking points. This is a really awesome feature, okay? On either side of the boxes, you've got these little locking points. Um, you can see it here on, number, on picture number 13. Um, and what that does, you got two reinforced locking points that increases your security and accommodates most types and sizes of locks. And number 14, the simplified transportation. Um, that's specifically referring to the transporter series, which that's going to, we're going to go to uh, page number four. And if you don't mind giving me just a second, I'm going to, I'm going to turn to page number four so I can read these words because there's a lot of good information here. And this is the transporter series. Okay. So right now we've got one, two, three, four different pieces. Um, that are part of the transporter series, and I think it's just, I'm just, I'm just stoked about it. Okay, the two-in-one convertible hand truck. Okay, it's got up to 800 pound capacity when it's at the horizontal position, and a 400 weight capacity whenever it's um, the upright piece. Uh, let's see what else we got. Rigid aluminum frame provides durability while remaining lightweight. The innovative Stack Tech receiver locks boxes securely in place. Uh, lockable front casters keep the cart stationary. And solid 10 inch puncture proof tires tackle or any terrain. And cast aluminum toe plate with a solid wheel guard right in there. That's pretty sick. Um, for the information regarding the hand truck, you got it easily ascends staircases, maneuvers into tight spaces, large diameter wheels. It accepts long handle tools. That's what this is right here. You can put your shovel or whatever you need right in there and take it wherever you need to go. Utilizing specialized toe plate receiver, stack tech boxes securely lock into place, offering a nimble upright box cart. Up here we've got the four wheel cart. I'm gonna have quite a few of these because I love them. Um, I used to manufacture a lot on my own before Milwaukee came out with their dolly. And what's, something that you'll notice is there's, there's no foot brake. You know, like the Milwaukee one has a foot brake on it. Well, you don't need a foot brake on this one because your, um, your stacking action is completely vertical. So there's no need to have the foot brake because it'll just drop down vertically in place, which I find to be pretty awesome. Uh, 360 degree casters with smooth bearings maneuver easily in tight spaces. Lockable front casters hold the cart in place and integrated tie down points. That's something that's really cool. And I honestly didn't, I don't guess I ever read that, that it has tie down points. And I'm very grateful and excited about that. I'm excited to see that. And then here we've got the cargo carrier. This is one of those things where Tough Built just went the extra mile for us and it's really cool. Um, it securely locks Stack Tech toolboxes into place. It mounts on two inch class three or four hitch receivers. Supports Stack Tech rolling toolboxes. That's because they made a little spot for the wheels to go if it needs to. I mean, gosh, thank you guys. That was, that's just great. Multiple tie down points for secure placement 
easily folds when it's not in use, and includes two ratchet straps. I just, I just want ratchet straps. Those look awesome. I would just be happy with a set of those, but I want the whole thing. Um, and it's got a 500 pound weight capacity. Moving on to the next page, we're gonna talk about the Advanced Transporter Series, okay? That's what we were looking at earlier, and that's what I told you I would give you a run through. And there's lots and lots of information there. Um, yeah, let me get this page turned real fast. The Advanced Transporter System, okay? We're just, I'm just gonna read the blurb here because it's, it's great, okay? Load 500 pounds in seconds. The Tough Built Transporter is a groundbreaking, first of its kind transit system that is redefining job site speed and convenience. The transporter allows pros to float stack tech boxes directly in and out of their truck, lifting tools and gear effortlessly. Once deployed, rapidly raising and lowering the transporter is simple, saving professionals from stress, injuries, and wasted time. Some of the key things here, you got rapid, rapidly load and unload 500 pounds in seconds, efficient multi-stage safety system, terrain tires. So basically what this is, operates exactly like a gurney, all right? Transporter incorporates a smooth, precision height adjustment me mechanism, which can be operated simply with a drill or by the included hand crank. Raise your transporter to load stacks into a truck bed or lower the system for use with a table or tile saw. That is such a cool thing, okay? So not only did they give us an extremely convenient way to operate and maneuver our stack tech system, but they made it multifunctioning to where we can um, either use it as a as a work table, a saw stand, or material support. Um, it delivers a multifunction set of options to load, lock, and use your stack from truck bed to job site. This is cool. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on this because this is really interesting. Okay. Look at that. They got three of the work surface uh, pieces on across the top here, and they've got a tile saw, and that's a Tough Built logo. I don't know if that's a clue for us or not, but I wouldn't be upset if it was. But yeah, that's the Advanced Transporter. We're going to be able to see that in the summer of 2024. All right, let's move on to the next page. And so what we've got here is we've got an overview of some of the initial uh, products that we'll be launching in the spring, okay? Um, this also includes the eight pieces that are available um, at launch um, at the end of October. Um, you've got the rolling toolbox, a large toolbox, toolbox, tool crate, compact toolbox, low organizer, low profile organizer, compact low profile organizer, and then the tool tote are all available um, at launch. And then this spring, you'll get all of these other pieces. A few things that really stick out to me is the XL cooler and the compact cooler. I'm very excited about that. Ooh, and a lunch box. That's fun. And then I'm really excited to see that they've got a two shelf system off of, based off of E-Track. You've got mounting plates, a work surface, stack tech bins, an ice pack, and a tumbler. That's just really cool. There's the transporter series that we just talked about. And then over here are all the accessories um, that, uh, yeah, this is gonna be really special. It's gonna be fun. You got a stack tech bar here, an XL stack tech bar, a magnetic bar with some secret sauce. All right, let's zoom in right here. Let me get over here to it. You see those three tools? And they're also right over here as well. These are tools that as of today, they're not out yet, um, but they're coming. Um, you got a pair of lineman pliers, a pair of cutters, and wire strippers. Very excited about that. Um, what, I mean, their hand tools are second to none in my opinion, so I'm very excited to see that happening. Uh, let's see here, we've got long handle toolbars. That's where you could put your shovel or you know, your, just your long handle sledgehammer, whatever you wanna do. Um, you got a long tool holder. This is specifically 
uh, special for your levels. You got your cord wrap, a roll holder, three piece stack tech hubs, an area light, a drafting light, a tablet arm. I'm very excited about this, specifically for my industry. This is super great because I take an iPad with me on most jobs and reference uh, measurements uh, in the sign industry. You got a magnifying light and two different mold plates, which is just really awesome. Here, down here, you can get a look at the quick release function. You pull those tabs and then insert it, release the tabs and it'll hold in place. And then you obviously do the opposite to pull it off. You got the two Cliptex uh, hubs right there. Yeah, this is just awesome. And then we're gonna move to the next page. The next page is probably my favorite, maybe. I don't know. Um, the big thing about the next page is it really showcases that Tough Built has listened to the consumers, okay? There are things on this page that people have been asking for for years from some of the competitors and with no reason for why it hasn't been done yet. And these guys went and have done it and they're going to be releasing it within their first year of having the products out. And I think that's something that sets Tough Built super far ahead in comparison. So let's take a look. All right, over here, we're gonna get back to this because this is real important. But over here, we've got a ton of clip tech accessories, all right? All of these different pouches, they're really awesome. Lots of electrician uh, specific pouches, which will be helpful, an all purpose one. You got a drill holster, compact drill holster. Uh, you got a tape measure and knife pouch. I'm gonna get a couple of those. I have the smartphone pouch and I love it. Keep it on my work bag, it's very helpful. Um, precision equipment storage. What is the heck? What is this? A stack tech tower light. Oh my. Mm. Look at that. And it's telescoping. So you can see it'll raise and it'll lower down to there. And then you can tell where these pieces will fold and fit those recessed areas. That means this thing is going to break down and be super compact. And it also tells you. The Tough Build is playing around with some battery operated tools, um, which I think is really cool. I'm really excited to see where the future of that goes. All right. Speaking of, take a look there. You see that? What the heck is that? Is that a clue that Tough Built is secretly working on a um, power tool line? Or do you think that they just took a, a regular drill and uh, changed the color black? I don't know. You tell me. Bleep bloop it down in the comments what you think about that. Um, you can see these pliers there again. And there's a, there's a wire tester. So, yeah. Something there? I don't know. You tell me. Tell me what you think. I'm excited to hear from you over there. You got a lot of pieces here that just make me so excited. Okay, you got a rolling drawer box. They finally, someone finally listened and gave us a side access rolling toolbox. It's freaking awesome. I'm so pumped about that. That that there is enough for me. I could be happy. I, I would die a happy man with that right there. Okay. You got an XL4 drawer box. A two drawer, an XL one drawer box. I'm also extremely excited about that. A large one drawer, compact toolboxes, a compact crate. You got a compact deep organizer, compact first aid kit, a low profile first aid kit, a compact water cooler, a compact vacuum, which is also some proof that they're working with battery technology, and a box fan, a freaking box fan. Thank you, Tough Built. That is going to be such a cool and underrated thing. And what I love about it is you can see the recessed handles there. So it actually sits down flat, looks like it's about the size of uh, one of the just regular toolboxes. And then this pivots here to be able to have direction as you stand it up on its side. That's so cool. And then you got the transporter. All of this is coming in the summer of 2024. And I tell you, I could not be more excited about it. Last page. Last page is a doozy. There's a lot of stuff on here that gets me pretty hyped up uh, because it's something that's completely fresh. It's not a matter of copying. It's not a matter of taking ideas that people have had before. It's something completely new, and I think it's so awesome. 
and it, I think it's going to really change the game. And here's what it is. You've got an in-vehicle organization system, and you've got a, a garage storage uh, solution system as well. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's look at the van first, okay? So you've got a bunch of the different... Let's, let's zoom in here, okay? you got a bunch of the different uh, mounting plates with the E-Track and everything like that. you got a work... They got work surfaces here on the top making a little workbench. You see that right there? That's a big deal because that means that uh, these wall panels have the same tooling that allows the quick access um, or quick release uh, accessories, which is really cool. And that means that um, that same technology is used across Stack Tech and the system here. You've got some lights there. You got a tool holder with every type of tool that you could need, you know, every brand. And you got drawers and stuff down there. That's just a really clean look. I'm very excited about it, but not as excited as I am about this. All right, we've got this, the garage storage system. We've got shelving here. You've got small bins, parts, um, holders. You've got a, a wall here, stack tech mounts. Look at this. you got a solid work top on, on top. The paneling again with the accessories there. you got hand tool holders, screwdriver holders, uh, power tool holder, and these, two, these three little cabinets up here. you got drawers down here and this rolling seat. Ah, it just looks so good. And then this is a thing of beauty. This walnut top. Wow. And this, uh, yeah, I'm just super pumped about this. Um, you got your fixed leg stool. More accessories there. You see that paneling over here. Look at this shelf that latches in there with these lights underneath and these big giant cabinets. I want to see the inside of those so bad. And then you got some of the smaller cabinets up here as well. So, there you have it. That's just kind of a, a dive into the PDF. Um, like I said, each s launching uh, Stack Tech set um, comes with a printout that has all of this stuff in it. So, make sure that you go get your Stack Tech set so that you can dive into this and take a look at it. And yeah, that's all I've got. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope this was informative for you, and we'll catch you next time.